embracing the economics of mutuality from a management education perspective. Within that context, what for you is the key shift that needs to happen, do you think? The key shift for me is a cultural shift uh, and the cultural shift will go through the education system in general and more particularly for what I'm interested in through the management education system. We need to change the cultural background to our KPAs, uh, systems of practices, our uh, incentive schemes, etc. And this is about culture, this is about conceptual framing of the world in which we live, conceptual framing of who we are, conceptual fr framing of our priorities, our values. So this is really a complex uh, transformation that we are talking about here. Um, you said in the past that this is really about training entrepreneurs for change, for that cultural shift. How receptive are they to this change? That's actually an excellent question. Uh, I, I did a bit of an exploration on, on that question a few weeks ago because I got asked actually ex the exact same question. My answer, it's still a gut feeling, I think we will go about measuring it more precisely, but my answer is that we have about 30% of native mutuality students in the sense that 30% of our students are completely convinced about this necessary transformation. 30% we bring along through the pedagogy that we put in place and maybe we have 30% of people who are a bit more detached, remain more detached and maybe less convinced, but that's fine. And, and I think that things will progress through the years, through decades. This is a movement building process. So you've also said that this is about questioning and presumably ultimately changing the algorithm of management education, which is a pretty tall order. What barriers exist, do you think, to, to driving this kind of change? Well, there are many barriers. Uh, the first barrier is a barrier that is connected to uh, structured path dependencies. We have a, a management education system that is now quite old. Uh, it has been structured in a particular way for many uh, decades and what I'm talking about is really reset, it's reboot and rebooting, resetting means changing our theories, changing uh, the way we teach, then ch changing the value systems that frame the theories, changing therefore the publication game, the publication systems of our professors. Uh, so it's, it's a tall order as you say. Uh, it's got to be very complex. So the complexity of those past dependencies is really one of the obstacles, but we have to start somewhere. The other uh, obstacle is the short-termism that is dominant in the business school system as well as in, in, in the economy in general. And we are all bent on uh, publishing or perishing, uh, and the short-term publishing strategies really don't go that way. Uh, so we have to also fight against this. And finally, I would say we have vested interest um, for the system to run as it goes. So this is as elsewhere, we have to fight against that. So it's not going to be an easy uh, plan, really. Specifically, you've talked about reprioritizing humanity, social sciences as, and the arts, as well as economics and finance in this next generation of management education. Why is that so important? Basically, those are examples. What, what I think is important is that the future leaders of our world, wherever they are, uh, come to think about issues from multiple perspectives, um, not only from management perspective. What does it mean if you talk about natural capital, that you use the term capital? Could you talk about nature uh, in very different formats by looking at it from a biological perspective, by looking at it from an anthropological perspective, by looking at it from a, a, a social political perspective, etc, etc. Uh, and by doing that you are going to fragilize yourself the categories that you use to function in the everyday world. And in doing that you actually, in a sense, are your own critical thinker. You become able to think on your feet, on your own feet, and you become a human. That's what being a human is about. So social sciences, uh, humanities, arts are all means to open up those back black boxes that we tend to function with without ever questioning them. This is for me the key tool to critical thinking.